Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Chicago. And today our question comes to us from 76 Thurs. And 76 Thurs would like me to speak to Wiccan ideas about homosexuality in light of the pairing of goddess and god. And the idea that there might be some conflict between this archetype of heterosexual goddess and god and human homosexuality. And my answer to this is, firstly, when we speak of goddess and god, we are talking about cosmic forces. And we are not saying that those cosmic forces literally have a gender as we humans do. Rather, we're using this as a form of symbolism to better understand those cosmic forces. So there is not a great cosmic penis or a great cosmic vagina anywhere in the universe. Rather, when we speak of the yin energy and the yang energy, the goddess energy and the god energy, we use these symbols to try to give it a more human form that we can more readily connect with. So we are not saying that the cosmic penis and the cosmic vagina literally come into alignment somewhere, and therefore it is not really relevant to what humans do. Having said that, even if we were saying that goddess and god were literally feminine and masculine, that doesn't mean it's the only thing human beings could do. We speak of the goddess most commonly as the mother goddess, but motherhood is only one of many choices a woman can make in her life. Therefore, if we speak of goddess and god as a couple, it doesn't mean it's the only kind of couple that a human being can form. When we speak of the cosmic powers, though we most commonly think of them as goddess and god, they certainly can also be thought of as goddess and goddess, or god and god, and have been done historically and today as well. So I would say don't get hung up on this. It really has nothing to do with our human sexuality on a day-to-day -day basis. It is an archetype. It is a symbol. It is a way of understanding things. It does not mean that everything in our daily life must take only that form. Therefore, when we speak of goddess and god, even if we spoke of it in no other way, and we do in fact speak of it in other ways, but even if we didn't, it doesn't mean it's the only thing humans can do. So I hope that answers your question. And until next time, may you blessed be.